Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are in Ireland, and this might be the last full day of Ireland. Um, I appreciate you all watching. Thanks for your comments, um, especially those that know who they are. Really appreciate it very much, very much. Always, always, always. And um, I am adding a few tidbits here and there. Um, in this section, and then I'll start talking. So I'm just going to let it roll. turned off the camera a minute ago because if you hear the washing machine going, it's because it's on the other side of this wall right here. But there's also a snoring dog over here. That's not me or the washing machine. That's the D-O-G. Um, these are awful. And I keep thinking I'm going to rip them out and put something else in here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Like that, ooh, whole thing just moved, like that, or, all right, that's a plane ticket, you might not want to lose that lady, okay, or, where did my, I just spin around in circles here, where did my, my um, Tomoa River paper, one of those go. Hmm. Hmm. I had it a day or two ago. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Oh, maybe it's over here. Oh, there's my own camera. Okay. On this fancy camera, I don't know how to delete the videos. Okay, here I'm going to admit some stupidity issues on my part. So I have used my old camera to delete videos, but I couldn't find it for a day or two. Oh, drinking game, you must drink. I said I can't find it. Where is my... Oh, another drinking game. I said I can't find my... Tomorrow River paper. What did I do with it? Things can't go very far now. Hmm. All right, well, rather than spend any more time on it. So, do I get rid of these? Because I really don't like them. They were supposed to look like four-leaf clovers. Now they look like smashed mosquitoes that went to Ireland. That's kind of how I see it. But if I take this out... I might, oh, you know what I could do? I might just put a flap in here. I think I'm going to. I know, I know. Hmm. All right. I have a knife. Should I try this? Where is my board? This board. I think I might leave a little bit of a margin for the vellum to stick to. Might do this with the scissors instead. 
four. Hello. My dog has another sour tummy. I think it's time to take that poor guy to the vet. He hates, hates, hates going to the vet and he stresses himself out that he is sick for the lack for a couple days. So it's, and he's 15. I mean, what are they gonna tell me? Oh, he's got this and this and this and this and this and this wrong. And you need to do that. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing any of that. He's 15. He deserves a little bit of peace. He's at, the, I just lost a knife I had. Take another drink. Um, it's kind of like how we were with my parents. It's like, how much do you really want to put them through? Not a oh, whole heck of a lot. Neither one of them are going to be better. And is it really fair? And they would hate it. Okay, it's problem solved. I still might use them someplace in a smaller form, but not like that. Every time I looked at them, I'm like, I don't like them. I don't like them. I'm not worried about that. It'll get covered up or... Yeah, with stickers, but now if I go, okay, Sideways Ireland, maybe I should just do this. I kind of like the sound of all that crinkle, crinkle. Okay, we're going to do that. All right. We're going to fold it in half. And you see the crinkle. If you have earbuds on, sorry. Okay. We're going to try to rip the top. Like part way through because it's not going to fit this length. And I'm okay with that. This is really just going to be a foundation for a bunch of smash book variety of ephemera. So, how do I get this in here now? <laughs> I thought I left enough. But Lumpy Left is causing me some issues here. Maybe I will play with the smashing and attach it off camera. That's a good idea. So now, I have a little bit of like our arrival back into Dublin and that kind of stuff. But in reality, I think, and I have a couple journaling things to do. I have uh, the Rock of Cashel to journal. The Blarney does not go here. The Blarney goes over here. And the harp goes in this middle section maybe, or at the end, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go through and put like clear packing tape on some of these places where the washi tape because washi tape doesn't stick greatly to paint so in my experiences so I'm going to put a little bit of packing tape in places fine tune the journaling there's uh, quite a few spots not as many as there was spots to do journaling in um And uh, a farewell type of thing. And I'm going to just use some green painted papers and then write journal. So I really don't think that's in need of filming. Um, Bantry Bay needs to be journaled. Maybe from Bantry Bay, Blarney, Rock of Keschel. That's about, those are the last bits I need to journal. I think I've done a lot of journaling otherwise. And I went through, you saw me, and added a few little more stickers that I had found that I had saved for Ireland that I forgot I had saved. Take another drink. So, Ireland is theoretically done. Okay, let's, so, and I might do a final flip through Tuesday or Wednesday. Tuesday. Let's just say today for you somewhere on Instagram at some point. And I think Curti and my 4x8 paper stuff on Instagram also. 
Hmm. I'll try to remember to put that down in the thingy down below. But Wednesday, I'm starting a new project. It'll only be, let's see, for about 20 days because I'll be gone to California in some of that and I'm not going to take my equipment to video while I'm in California because I'm visiting friends that I haven't seen in five years. A lady that I may never see again after this who's going to be 95 and my friend's mom and her sister's health is not always great because she's a polio victim from way back when that was never supposed to live and she's still going at 70-ish. She won't want me to tell you how old she is. But, um, so her muscle, you know, stuff is always in peril and it's harder and harder and harder and harder for her to get around. Mentally, she's fine and the rest of her body is fine. It's just her muscle breakdown. Um, in fact, she's incredibly intelligent. Um, so I'm not going to film there. Um, I'll give you a hint. Magazine meets boo. Capiche? Capiche. That's it. That's going to start on Wednesday. Um... I'm redoing a fun project that was fun for me in a different mode with a different magazine and getting hyped up for Halloween. But I'll probably um, end it like mid... What is this month? August. I don't know. It'll go for maybe 20, 25 days. I don't know. Not a not a complete and utter tragedy if I go longer or shorter. And there's no schedule. So now I'm just going to smash, which I don't know how to do, but I kind of think I do a version of that with all of this leftover stuff. Um, some of it is trash. Cows, we saw a lot of cows. Might cut out a cow castle tag from something. A couple leftover pictures. This is going to go on the inside cover. In fact, let's just do that right now. Or maybe on the back. Ooh, look at that great journaling card. There's my shamrocks right there. I was trying to get them to be a little abstract, but okay. Maybe on the back cover. So does it go like this or does it go like this? this? Okay. Now this is one that you can put like on a van or something for traveling. So it's kind of super industrial and it's going to go right there because that's where it ended. And I got it straight. How about that? Woohoo! So, I didn't like my, where is my newspaper from Ireland? I can hear my dog, my dog's tummy growling too. Anyhow, I wasn't crazy about this as the cover, but I'm, I'm, it's happening. There are my favorite washi tape, some painted stuff, some other painted stuff. I mean, washi tape, a map sticker, stuff from the used book that I got, uh, a newspaper title. Um, other green, and I love the collaginess of that, and that's what I'm going to do on here. But leaving bits and pieces of the country, even though you won't be able to tell the shape when I'm done, I don't think. Okay, let's take off this thing. Ooh, that thing is industrial too. Uh-oh, it ain't going to come off. We might have to put a piece of green on that. I might make a journal tag. Really and truly, how much more stuff can I put in this thing? Not much. Okay. Castle. I have my husband's Blarney Castle map. 
that I might like tear up a little bit. There was great gardens here. Great gardens. Um, they had a witch's herb garden. They had a cave, the Blarney Stone, which we did not do. Poison garden. <laughs> um, a stable and a thing with uh, like carriages. That was cool. The Blarney House, you cannot go in. It's still being used um, by somebody. I think it's a private like B&B &B or something. Um, a Vietnamese woodland, a bee observatory, a fairy glade, the druid circle, the witch's stone, witch's kitchen. That's what it was called, witch's kitchen. Um, so that was, it was really cool. Some beautiful flowers. I had already known this. You know you bend over backwards and then lean over again. This is your body. This is the little old man holding you. This is your body. And then you go over this gap and then lean over and kiss the stone. No. Even though... Actually, I might use this one on that spread. Because there's a couple good history things in there. I, even if I wasn't freaked out by the germs of all these other people, leaning over backwards, uh, no, I'm not going to mess up my back. <laughs> Which probably would have happened. All right. See, that's like the address for one of the, the hotel we stayed in in Cork. Some of these little things that I made that really, well, what was that? <gasps> a shampoo. painted sheep <laughs> they actually do paint them a little bit to like a brand to specify who's or who's if they're all up on a hill together but we never did see any like that um another castle these really don't belong there where was this Glen Gareth Oh, that was the first day. No. Mm -mm. I think that was close to G Dingle, Glengariff, because all these little points were down on the western, southern tip. Where's my big map? Ah, I wasn't going to talk through this one, but apparently I am. Which they're easier to edit, but they're longer to upload. Glen Gareth. Okay, Clifton. I get Clifton and Glen Gareth mixed up. Clifton is the first night. And Glen Gareth is down over here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I think that's where we were after we did Killarney National Park. Well, that would have been the last night. I don't know. Anyhow. Highly recommend Ireland. Oh, we might be going somewhere next summer that we're thinking about already. Because you got to plan these things ahead of time. Okay, here's Garnish Island that we did. Garnish Island. Garnish. I keep calling it Garnish. Garnish. Where they had all these beautiful gardens and the seals. Um... Seals. We didn't see any sea eagles, which I think are kind of like osprey. Switzerland. We did. We were thinking about that. I think right before my mom and dad got really sick. But my husband. Oh, that's what we saw. This little fat roly poly seal. They were so cute. My husband, oh, here, this is where it tells you that, um, is a trained freak, slash astrologer, slash him. <laughs> um, anyhow, oh, I'm rambling, rambling, rambling. Um, so how do we get all this on here? I don't know. 
Let's cut out a circle first of the cow. I don't think he's going to make it though, will he? He wants to take our granddaughter. That's enough cow. Now, mind you, hopefully her mother doesn't find this video. She almost had us, well, she accused us of kidnapping her when we were going to take her for a weekend to North Carolina to go tubing on a river. So how the heck is she going to let us take her to Switzerland is beyond me. We will, of course, have to get her a passport, which I'm not even sure. I can do the inside, too. Ooh. That means I would only attach one side. Well, I've got the two other sides. Let's just... You don't know how to do this. How do you smash book? One of the girls that I have followed on YouTube for a very long time is a very good smash booker. In fact, I, that's how I found her was smash booking. Oh, Grand Canal Hotel. Huh, Bolly Vaughn. These should be in the book. Ooh, Grand Canal Hotel had chocolates on our pillow. Oh, that was a treat. I like it when they leave me a chocolate. Okay, here's some bog. They cut the bog into brick shapes and use it as stuff in their little cook or fireplaces and things. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, but he wants to go on a train thing in Ireland, in uh, Switzerland. It would just be a day trip, but then we would stay for a week. Just Switzerland, I think, is so, so far. Now, I don't want the sticker thing to be on there. I just want the Ireland part. This was a label on top of a sticker pack that I got, which I can use those on here, too. Oh, the cow. Now, I think when you smash book, you have to put it a whole lot closer together than I'm used to. So I have to get used to layers here. Such as... But for some reason, he really wants to take our granddaughter. And that would be fine with me. She would love it. And she's up for anything with us. Her mom always says she's not, but she is with us. We don't have any problem with her. I don't want all this advertising, but I will. It'll be covered up, maybe. So that will be fun. And then I'm thinking of doing, my husband has to go to um, these classes, continuing education classes. He has to do and prove that he went to one a year. And he has always gone, he likes to connect it to a little bit of fun. And they always have these conventions in places. Um, he goes to two a year and then they have these classes involved with that so he can kind of kill two birds at one stone, schmooze a little bit, which he has to do a little of, which he hates. <laughs> I don't blame him. All right, let's divide some of these pictures up for the other side. And um, then, uh, oh, he's going to Denver in mid-October, and I might go to New York, Curti, New York. Did you hear me, Curti? New York. For a couple days, not a week. I stayed last time. It was too long. These two little donkeys were in, where were they? Bali Vaughn. Um, when we first, before we got to Dingle, we stayed the night before. We stayed in Bali Vaughn the second night. And these little guys were semi-wild, but roam free in this little teeny tiny port town. I mean, little teeny tiny, like two stores, a hotel, and two or three pubs, as one does in Ireland, right? But they were so friendly and so cute. And I wanted to remember them, so I have a postcard. That actually could go in Bali. See, now that this is how my journal's going to grow. This stuff might still go in the journal. Where's the journal? Where's the journal? Here it is. 
And uh, so while he's in Denver, I might go to New York. And he's only going to go for two nights. He, he's crazy when he does these classes. They always end in golf. And he does not play golf. His best friend is a golfer, obviously. That's how we ended up in Ireland. But, um... Uh, What was I going to say? He goes home when the golf starts. And um, so he flies, usually spends two nights and flies home wherever they are. And they always have free time. Like when they go to California. He's been to California a couple times because they try to do East Coast, West Coast, or West Coast, East Coast. And uh, this one is in the middle. <laughs> uh, Denver. And they always have all these activities for them to do. That may not happen. Um, sheep might go on the sheep page. Okay. I could cut out a Blarney Castle thing again. Um, and I don't like flying. I've done Las Vegas because they did Las Vegas a couple years in a row. And they are like, okay, that's enough. Okay, we could use this. We could use this. There's these green polka dots. Here's some green. Oh, we never did use um, Shannon Heritage. Now, I do have a couple blank pages. Just a couple at the end. Oh, here's Galway. That might need to go in. Might make a miscellaneous page at the end. That could be used. Oh, who am I kidding? How am I going to start this other journal on Tuesday or Wednesday? Um, it's cute. Oh, Dublin Airport. That could go on here. All right. Kelly Perky. Oh, still have one of these. That could go at the end, too. And I have a couple of these from the Almanac, so I might do... A little bit of this. Um, so, I would, if I go to New York, which I have to schedule, and I have these stickers that are going to go in here. I have to schedule it around my art class, which luckily California does not interfere with. Close call, but it doesn't. And I would go the same time. My sister will just have to take care of my dog. She doesn't know that yet. Don't tell her. Now, there's two of these. And then the rest of this is done. Now, I might keep it in a travel file folder somewhere, but I have used a good bit. I am really, really, really pursuing using my stuff rather than hoarding it. And I've done better than normal. I'm really going to have to speed this up if I want to. Maybe I need to speed it up at this point. So yes, Wednesday is a new project, by hook or by crook. Might just, a final flip through uh, Wednesday-ish. Let's just say Wednesday-ish on Instagram of this project, because my husband has to help me with Instagram. I need a production crew for Instagram. This I can do myself, sort of. Okay, I now I'm gonna, so, Wednesday-ish, Instagram. I'll try to remember to add it down below here. I think it's four by eight paper stuff. Gertie, if you're shouting, I can't hear you. Um, new project on Wednesday. This may or may not be done, so I may have a little addendum to one or two of the days on the new project. Otherwise, Ireland's been great. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Beautiful. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend. They're not sponsoring me, obviously. 
um, Vagabond Tours is what we took. And we did the Driftwood Tour because it did all the coast. Most of the coast. A lot of the coast. It was a good variety of castles and sheep and animals and food. Although food in Ireland, bleh. Uh, cities. Tiny, tiny villages. History. Amazing history. Amazing history. Amazing history. And our tour guide was amazingly va uh, schooled in history. That's her pet peeve. As well as traveling. So, now we're going to fast forward. Okay? Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming to Ireland with me. Um, and I'll see you. Get ready to get your boo on. Pre-boo. Pre-boo. <laughs> Bye. Tails from the paddleboard. It looks like a mermaid. Can you kind of see the clouds this morning? Now the moon is in the upper left hand corner, but the the um cloud formation kind of looks like a stretched out mermaid that James Burke would do. So hello, good morning from Lake Murray, James Burke. Yeah, right. See y'all tomorrow. Bye.